Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariela Lozano and I am super excited to be back on YouTube. I put YouTube on a hold because I'm super busy with school, but don't worry, I'm back and I'm bringing you guys a very overdue video. It's the freshman reflection video. But the reason why I put it off for so long is because now that I'm a second semester sophomore, I feel like I have more tips and experiences that I can definitely share with you guys to help make your freshman year a lot easier, or at least less stressful than it might be. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. I will list all the timestamps down below for you guys so you can skip to the parts that you want to watch. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I hope that you guys like my new setup. I did change it up a little bit and I also don't live at home anymore. I live at school. So yeah, you guys will find that out in like another video or if you haven't already watched my past videos, you know that I got a piercing. So I do have a hoop on right now and I moved into school, you know, an REL and all that great stuff. But that will be saved for my sophomore year reflection video. But Anyways, I'm going to be talking about my classes, being a commuting student, getting involved on campus, making friends, talking about my major and the school I go to, being a first generation student, failing my first exam, working while in school, and what I wish I knew before my freshman year in college. So if you guys want those exact timestamps, it will be down below. But first off, and I'm looking at my iPad just because it's easier for me to remember things. I have become a lot more forgetful since I started college. I became Dory. I don't know why. It's just a lot harder for me to remember things. I have too much on my plate, so bear with me. My first semester, I did Computer Information Systems, the Human Event Part 1 um, for the Honors College, and then Honors 484, Fall Internships. I did Brief Calculus. Introduction to Sociology, Student Success in Business, because I'm at the W.P. Carey School of Business, and so we had to take that. And then the second semester, which was my spring semester, I did Accounting 231, Microeconomics, the Human Event Part 2, and then the Math Part 2, which was 211, so it was 210, then 211. Um, I did Transporter Culture, and then also my Freshman Career Preparation course, which is another day to carry small class that you have to take. So every semester we take one, so I had to take 248 after that, then 340, and then I do 448 my senior year. So those were my classes. I did have a lot of coursework just because it's college, guys. Like, it's not high school anymore, so your professors are just going to give you something and expect you to, like, turn it back in. So, they give you a syllabus, and that's basically your guide for the rest of the year. You're on your own. Basically, if you don't turn something in, they're not going to be holding you by your hand. Yes, they will give you a zero and not give you credit for anything or late work. So, be prepared for that when you get to college. Just know that you're not going to be held by the hand and... I mean, that's something we all learned. It's honors worth it. So if you guys didn't know, I am at Barrett the Honors College here at Arizona State University. Um, I personally say that honors is worth it for the majority. I mean, like, it's okay. Like, it's not necessary, but it's cool to have it because we do get priority, like, registration. So, like, we get to register for classes before anyone. Um... We get really cool class selections, so we have like these really special topic classes that we can choose as honor students to take for like electives and stuff, which is really fun. Um, the other one would be that you get to meet a lot more people in like a smaller, like close knit classroom, especially when you're doing your honors like um, 171 and 272 classes, which are the human event, and you get to meet like a lot of people. So I like bear it and. I mean, one of the cool things you get to do with Barrett is create a thesis, so you have to defend that, and I think I want to do mine like based off business, but as like coursework goes, like it's not that it's harder, it's just you get more work, so like the complexity level, it's not that it's like hard to do the work, it's just you get a ton of work with it, or you just get an additional amount of work to do. So it's nothing too crazy. It's doable, definitely. So I basically do like Barrett and I'm thinking of staying in it. I'm still trying to decide whether that's like a good idea for me just because I'm double majoring now. And so 
I'm not quite sure if that'll be like the best use of my time, but for the most part, I've liked um, the Honors College, so yeah. Professors! Let's talk about professors. So you're gonna have those professors that you either love or you hate, and basically there's no in between. You either like them or you don't like them, and sometimes you're just stuck with them because there's like the department just sucks and like you can't do anything about it, you know? You don't want to get a very bad professor when you can get a really good professor and learn more, retain more information from that good professor versus that professor that sucks. It's really important to choose your professors wisely, so if you didn't know about Ray, my professor, now you know. <laughs> but definitely use that to help you guys because that's going to be your lifesaver. Next I'm going to be talking about being a commuting student. So what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. I honestly did like commuting just because I had the freedom and stuff and I didn't have to live here on campus. But also another con would be that I would get home late. So I would wake up at 8, no, wake up at 6 a.m., leave by 7, get here at 8, have my class it was 8.30 actually because traffic is like pretty long and I live like 40 minutes but with traffic in the morning at 7 a.m. that's like an hour like just to get here so I would take an hour to get here and then an hour to get back so that was two hours that I could spend doing something else like studying or other things but I didn't because I was commuting so that's a con and another con would be that like I could have lived here on campus save time, gone to the tutoring center, gone to parties, like gone to other things that like I wish I could have experienced my freshman year that I didn't. So I mean those are like the small things and I mean like there's gonna be your pros and there's gonna be your cons when like living on campus, living off campus and stuff like that. But honestly I enjoy commuting and I know that it's not like the best for everyone and it might suck that you're not able to live like on campus your first year, but it's okay. Like I've been there I know what you're going through and I know that you're going to be sad for a little bit but it's okay because like it, it is what you make out of it like at the end of the day it's just you're living at home and you're not living at school so you think about it, you can still do a lot of things it's just you're literally not living at school with the other students but that's okay um, I didn't mind commuting at all so next I'm going to be talking about getting involved on campus and just how I did that and how I was able to do that. So you guys know I was a commuting student and I kind of felt left out, like not gonna lie. So I was like, what can I do to like make more friends or like meet new people and like learn more skills? Like I want to get involved with everything that has to do like with marketing. So I joined AdWorks my freshman year, which was the best decision I ever made. I learned a lot about marketing, advertising. I made a lot of cool friends and I was able to learn a lot from them. So like I honestly think involvement is one of the biggest things that's going to help you not only like succeed in school, but it's also going to help diversify your skill set because honestly, you can't really learn any other skills like like group skills and stuff like without joining a club. I mean, unless you're like interning or stuff, which is another th way that you can get involved. You can do like you can have an internship, you can get a job, you can like be involved on campus. Like just like the fact that you're getting involved in something will help you not only learn how to manage your time a lot better because you already have that like time frame taken up so now you have to do your homework like at a certain time and stuff like that it's just gonna help you personally develop as an individual both professionally and personally and it's just honestly getting involved is something that's so important because it looks really good on your resume it just really depends on your interests and stuff but there's something for everyone so Hopefully you guys get involved on campus and like ask around to see like what you can get involved with because honestly it's so much fun and I made a lot of friends that way. So I know I talked a little bit about making friends through um, being involved on campus but another way you can make friends that I personally like do even till this day like I do this is I look around in the classroom like I sit in the front row you know or sit in the second like row it doesn't really matter but like just Talk to the person next to you because you never know, like, you might make your best friend that way. Like, I literally, like, I'll tell, like, someone, like, for example, my friend John, I just met her this semester, and I was like, hey, like, what's your name? And she was like, oh, my name is Dominique, and I was like, oh, cool, you know, like, 
cool girl and I was like so like what's your major like I'll ask them like what's your major um, what class what other classes are you taking maybe we might have some together and that's just a way that you can connect with people to like make friends I people on Instagram don't add randos but like I mean sometimes it's fun too you get to see like what they're doing and you get to learn more about other people um, another one is to go to different events like I used to go to events alone believe it or not and honestly like I just talk to people and they think I'm really cool we'll add each other on insta pass our socials and like honestly it's really really fun so just put yourself out there like there's nothing to lose you're just trying to make friends in college and if you're not pushing yourself out of your comfort zone then you're never gonna grow you're never gonna make friends and stuff like that it's the risk the risk is there take the risk Honestly, the worst that can happen is some, someone's going to say no, but no one's going to say no to being your friend, you know. If anything, they'll just like ignore you and then you find someone better, bigger and better than them. Like, you don't need them in your life if they don't want you. Next, I'm going to be talking about the school I come to. Yes, I come to Arizona State University. I'm a part of Barrett the Honors College and the WPK School of Business. And basically, I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in marketing. I mean, as I, I was my freshman year. And I mean, I still do marketing, but I'm doing other things, so I'll tell you guys later. This is just like basically my reflection video. So what did I do my freshman year? So this is what I came in with. Marketing major, absolutely love it. At the WP Carey School of Business, they treat you so well here. And I'm also part of the Leaders Academy, which is basically like if you're in honors or you're just like a high achieving um, business student, you're able to get like free printing and stuff, at, like this lounge. It's really cool, really nice. And I love doing my homework there and seeing all my friends. So. Yeah, um, I absolutely love Arizona State University. I know there's a lot of like stigmatism behind it being like a party school and stuff. But honestly, if you're coming here for academics and you're here to learn and you're actually like balancing both your social life and your academic life, then you're cool, you're chilling. But if you're just here for the party life, I don't know like what to tell you guys. I mean, I think ASU does get down, but like honestly, it's just like what you make of it, your own school. And I absolutely love ASU and I'm like, more more of a nerdy person so it's just like it's your school and a school is going to be a school regardless so like if i choose to go to lsu like nyu like you know like it doesn't matter like what school you go to a school's a school as long as you're getting your degree like you're chilling you're good let's do it let's get this degree and get out like at this rate you know like any school will give you basically the same thing a degree and what can you use that for you can get a job so it's okay, like, whatever school you go to, honestly, I love ASU, and it's a great school. Next, I'm going to be talking about being a first-generation student. I'm super thankful for my education as a first-generation student. I know you're going to struggle a little bit. Don't worry, like, we've all been there. There's resources on campus to help you. You're not here to do things on your own as long as you're reaching out for help when you need it. Next, I'm going to be talking about failing my first exam. So I did fail one exam, and that was after I had, like, a car accident. Um, I failed my microeconomics first exam and like I did so bad on it I didn't even want to see my score but honestly that's the thing like you're gonna learn in college what works best what doesn't but like I tried so hard in that class to get my grade back up to an A and guess what I did I ended the class with like an A and that was amazing to me because you know you put in the hard work and if you're learning and you're like asking questions you go to your professor's office hours and stuff anything is achievable I mean like we've all had that one mistake and I mean failing my first exam was really really hard on um, but like if you come back up and you're asking questions and you go get the help that you need then you'll do great so yeah that was the story when I found my first exam and I mean, my professor was super open about it. He was like, oh, like, do you need help? Like, what can I help you with? And so, like, I asked him for any help that I needed. And, like, he was super, super helpful. So just know that your professors are there to help you. Um, working part-time. I did work part-time at Taco Bell while I was a full-time student and also commuting. So that was a little bit, like, harder for me personally. But if you have, like, an on-campus job, like, that's really really like good because you can get that extra money and honestly it's not that much if you're working like 10 hours a week that's like what five hours like in two days or like you can even split it up to work like two hours like every five days or something like that you know like they're very flexible with their schedule as long as you get like a good job so I loved working at Taco Bell I worked there for two years and six months I just got a new job and so that's why I left but honestly like Taco Bell was a really great job to me 
Now moving on to what I wish I knew coming into college. I would have wished I knew how to balance my academic and social life because my academics was up here but my social life was down here and they don't necessarily have to be equal but I mean when you put your education like all the way up here and your social life all the way down here like are you having fun yes no like you know so my freshman year my first semester I was like academics here social life here and so after that like I balanced them out and I felt a lot less stressed I was a lot more happy and I was able to just like relax you know like chill it's okay like you don't have to like get an A in every single class like you're gonna survive. Wait, my professor is your best friend. You guys already know that one. You don't have to have everything figured out is something that I personally learned as you come to like come to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and like it was through clubs and like talking to people, talking to professionals, even like reaching out through LinkedIn, like other professional sites that I was able to find out like kind of what career path I wanted to go into. So that's like something that you'll learn. Further down the line, like, you don't have to have everything figured out yet. You're still a freshman, you still have, like, time to figure things out. Like, you have the time. Like, whew. don't worry, you'll figure it out. Step out of your comfort zone. This is something I would have wished I knew, like, coming into, like, freshman year. Like, I would have wished that I just tried things, like, like, not care and caring about, like, what other people think about you, you know, just, like, going for it don't care you know like don't fear anything honestly you're starting a new chapter in your life like people aren't gonna remember what you do like to your son the line so like why do you care like even like when you're raising your hand in class like that's something you know like people aren't gonna like if they laugh they laugh at the moment but they're not gonna remember when they go to lunch like don't worry about it like take the risk take the challenge move out of the comfort zone because you're never gonna grow when you're like stuck in the same place Another one is to collect your A's as much as you can your freshman year because your classes do end up getting harder, believe it or not. After your freshman year, it just gets harder from there. So, I mean, it's not that it's like hard like coursework, but it's like the classes are getting a little bit more complex as you're like supposed to be learning more. That's literally all I have to say about my freshman year. I absolutely loved my freshman year here at ASU. And I wouldn't want to do it any other way. I'm so glad I went through those experiences. And I hope you guys learned something from my video or just were interested in seeing how my freshman year went. But it went really well. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget again to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification down below so you get reminded anytime I post. And yes, I'm going to be posting more often. I have a couple of videos lined up and I'm super excited because ah, I just miss YouTube so much. So. I'm super excited and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.